Hey, what up, YouTube? Break is back again. I got a new pickup video for you guys. This is the new Nike Lunar Flanet Chucka. The silhouette is Nike Plus compatible. There are the box numbers 11 and a half. My true size is 11 and a half, but I usually get a 12 in Nike just for the width. Official colorway is Midnight Fog White and Total Orange. This pair here is Nike Plus compatible. Not really sure uh, who runs in this, but I certainly wouldn't. Uh, this is the original uh, look to the shoes before I did a lace swap. And here they are with the lace swap. Here's a quick detailed look at the shoes. Really, really love the orange on this. I wanted a simple colorway. A lot of the colorways out there are really, really bright. This is basically like a black and orange colorway. Got a white swoosh. Loving the fly knit upper. It gives you a custom one-to-one -one fit. Here you see the orange flower wire it really pops out through the, the black upper. There you see a little uh, midsole. Here's the bottom of the shoe. Contains a lot more rubber than the Lunar Flyknit 1. Now I'm going to do a quick Flyknit 1 comparison with the Flyknit Chukka. As you can see right here, the upper is basically the same. Let's take a look at the sole. There's a more black rubber along the sole of the Chukka compared to the Flyknit 1s. I'd say the, the Flyknit Chukka is more like a lifestyle shoe. Of course, it comes in a brown box rather than an orange box. Upper is basically the same on the side. It's like a it's like a mid cut um, flying at one. It's got lunar on, same thing. For some reason, I don't know why the lunar ones feel a lot heavier than the uh, flying at Chucka. I actually just went to go measure the differences between my size 11 lunar one and the flying at Chucka. The lunar one ended up to be 9.17 ounces and the Flying at Chukka's at size 11 and a half ended up at 7.5 ounces. That's a huge difference between the half size, between the weight difference, between the runner and the lifestyle in my opinion anyways. On finish line I said it's a neutral runner. Just highlighting a couple other differences on the shoe or similarities I guess. I think the, the fly wire on the Chukka definitely pops more. The main differences between this and the Flyknit 1, this has a really really squishy feeling and the Flyknit 1's provide like a responsive foam, give you a little bounce to your step while you're running. Alright, here's the on feet. Definitely recommend trying these out in a store before you're buying them. I actually just took a risk, I ordered these from CrookedTongues.com. They were on sale for $140 I believe. I don't even know what the retail was, I think it was closer to $170 maybe. Got these in 11 and a half. This is my true size. And uh, with the custom fit, it will adjust to my width. Again, in my opinion, this is not a pair of runners, more like a casual shoe. Really nice looking with some shorts, some sweats, some jeans, anything. Well, my video is pretty much coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Peace.